next I'm looking at, oh, we have somebody from the Coachella Valley that recently did it. Do you want to stand up, Roberta? Do you mind? Sure, no, no, no. And is there anything you'd like to say? Um, no, except that it's true. I had cryoablation a year ago last August. So I'm coming up in my one year. And uh, it is exactly what uh, Laura said, doors open for you. You can't go in with fear. So when I got my um, announcement that I had breast cancer, I cried that night and I said, okay, that's it. I have got to find, I'm going to deal with this and I'm not having a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. I am going to fight this. And I did, and the doors opened up for me, and Arcana. never even knew about cryoblation, but walked into, went to the, fr I mean, the frost uh, trial, and went from there. Then I learned about Laura and her book, which I love the book, but the title, you cannot forget the title. And then uh, she taught me, and I then got a hold of Ingrid and her book, and how to protect your breasts, and how to stop, so you, you know, help prevent reoccurrence, which of course is where I'm interested in. And, Life has just been the most interesting, interesting year of, that I've ever had. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Because of my age, I didn't have to have the radiation. Oh, yeah. Well, so, good. You're old enough, yeah. you don't get radiation. If you, if you sign up for the trial, which is uh, the ice cream, there's two trials. The ice cream trial is pretty much done, and they publish results. And I, I think, can you uh, help me here? Is it 99% that it worked? Um, I believe it's 92 to 100 percent effective in less than 1.5 centimeters, if I can call that. That is yeah. pretty yeah. darn. Could you say uh, that one more time? Yeah. So it's um, cryoablation is 92 to 100 percent effective in lumps that are less than 1.5 centimeters. And Dr. Act sitting next to me has said yes, that's correct. So. Um, a lot of the physicians will also do masses that are greater than 1.5 centimeters. Mm -hmm. The largest breast cancer that I sent down to uh, Dennis Holmes was 4 centimeters, mm -hmm. which was good size. So some of the people are still working on trial or off trial, and since the trials are wrapping up, and the people have the equipment, like Dr. Axe will have this in the beginning of September, I believe, um, you know, this is going to be available, but 92 to 100%. And as I recall from the research, um, the lumpectomies are only about 62 to 80 percent effective, mm -hmm. and you get the immune effect that happens with the cryoablation, the the um, the body attacks the thing. So if, if you think of of your this is your cancer and this is a body part, so this could be your lungs, liver. It doesn't make any difference which it is. So your cancer is sort of a parasite sitting in here, and once you've frozen it and killed it off. The body says for an invader, for an invader, and sends out cytokines and white cells to gobble up this dead tissue mm -hmm. that's sitting in there. Sort of like when you get a bad splinter, gets red and angry. That's the immune effect that's happening. Mm -hmm. So the same thing is sort of happening in the breast with this lump. So then the immune system sends out the cytokines to find cells that are abnormal to the, it. Because right now, stem this is, cells, yeah, yeah. So this is cancers are us, you know, originally. Mm -hmm. But now we can sort of see it, which it didn't do before. Would that would you yeah. be in agreement? Yeah. 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 So so you know it may a lot of doctors at these international events that I've been to and talked to say this is the future of breast cancer. And in a, a private meeting of hospital leaders of slow gettering. It was private, but I've been told that uh, he's the real leader, and he said this is the future of breast cancer. So, it, we, you know, it didn't need me. Somebody would have been the first. Mm -hmm. I like to think that we've helped push it along a little faster with mm -hmm. the book and all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, somebody had to do it, and you know, I mean, if it, if doing this and doing all these activities helps. Anybody I personally know that comes up to me and say, hey, guess what, I have cancer, but it sucked, but guess what, they had this new thing freezing, and I got, you know, oh man, I'll, I'll, I mean, I already cry when I see the videos of the women that post, and if it's like my daughter's generation, that's my goal, is, you know, get it, get it. So, anyway, it's, it's happening. We might be a couple years away from getting it universally covered, but we're going there, right? I think right? so. Yeah. And with Laura, Laura and I, we've been trying to network to bring this out in more ways. So, 
If anybody has any really militant women's groups that would like to sort of <laughs> <laughs> I think it's women to women or breast Well, that's why we're breast I, cancer I action or this. some sort of groups or social media that we can start putting this stuff out so that more women can demand it. Yes. And, and 19 insurance companies are paying for it now in the U.S. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Cigna, Aetna. Um, Medicare. Medicare yes. is, yeah. Um, and these are national carriers. So. I called that Pacific Source and Moda here in, in Oregon a while ago and got some yuppity yuppity. And I said, well, would you pay for this code? And they said, well, what's this code? And they said, well, it's cryoblation. And they said, well, nobody's ever asked us. <laughs> so I said, oh, okay. So it's sort of like the chicken and the egg. So mm -hmm. if we can get a code, yeah. and I think very soon we're, there's supposed to be a new code coming out that I understand. So right now we're using the fibroadenoma cryoablation code, but there's supposed to be a new code coming out that's supposed to be cryoablation for tumors. So it's like tumors for cancer versus tumors of just lungs. That, that's what Dr. Littrell, when he, when he hit his walls, he told me, he said, the women have to ask for it. Mm -hmm. And that's what he kind of uh, entrusted me for and and you know we're all networkers so you you got you for a you don't know how lucky Portland is and we have Dr. Axe program at Legacy that's just huge we're going to be the MD trust me I've talked to women from all the country and all these different countries and when they hear us in Portland oh my god I mean we are so lucky but um, you are also lucky because you have these two amazing women you can talk to after this you have my son and my husband who probably know as much as me and I'm going to hang around too. But I probably should ask, is there anybody that has a question, a pressing question? Otherwise you've been just such a wonderful audience and thank you for being part of this community and thank you for coming here and supporting this show. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. So I read your book years ago and I um, love the part about being that then it would take care of other cancer cells later, it would recognize them. I, I didn't know it was 100 per, 99 to 100% yeah, effective. 100%, yeah. less than 1.5 centimeters. But, but right. they're, they're trying to freeze the small ones first because they think that's simpler. She's right. confusing the immune effect, which is 50%. What's the success? Right. That's what I was I asking. Mean, okay, I was going to ask. The immune is effect has not been proven. Uh -huh. Dr. Holmes' research arm is going to take up a trial to try to prove it. Dr. Lintrup tried, he's already done a trial with uh, uh, skin cancer. They, they, you know, these international conferences, they're trying to do it. They, the people at FUDA believe they've upped the, um, the ability of the immune effect to at least 80% by using a thing that is not available here called uh, CIC or combined immunotherapies for cancer. So that's a yet to be determined. Right. And you know, people like Dr. S are just, you can't even, I think I have manifested her. I don't think she's real. Because she, <laughs> uh, she is a, a real immune expert and she uses all these just fantastic protocols to work with the immune system. The, the um, German people use a mistletoe uh, shot that is mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, it's a, a, it's a stimulant. Mistletoe is breast cancer to a tree, but they use a shot from that to kind of do a, a natural version of it in their protocol. So it's still, trust me, I've seen, if it, you don't want to attend these things, but when international doctors that are researchers get together and they have their private meetups that they go at each other's research, it's brutal. And you better have research to back oh. it up. And I, I can't believe how careful they're being. But that's the yet to be determined. So we can't really say what that immune effect is. Okay. Um, I One woman told me that you get flu-like symptoms. And I said, well, I got that right after. You know, we don't know. I asked Dr. Holmes. He said, that doesn't always happen. You know, it kicks in different ways. So it, we're still patient pioneers, but okay. they're getting there. And that's the good news. And you know, I'm I'm out 16 years, so it's got to be good for something. And anyway, I remember just all these extremely smart research scientists in, at the Fuda on the top floor. They walked me through and showed me all the diagrams and. And so I followed the diagrams, and they have little cute, you know, how the Chinese do with their. Um, 
things. They had smiling pictures on the cytokines going off to the white blood cells and all that. So they, you know, they uh, show you how it all works. Well, I, um, I, I drew it all out and I said, okay, da 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 da. And then it goes to get the, the antigen goes to get the cancer stem cells. Well, there's no imaging that can find a, something as small as a cancer stem cell. You need the immune system. And the Chinese get that because they've been working with the immune system for so long. So the Dr. Xu, the head of the hospital, he shakes my hand and he said, congratulations. You now understand more than 90% of American doctors do about cancer. Mm -hmm. And that was years ago, but still, you know, I felt like kind of cool that, um, <laughs> but yeah, that you, you do want some kind of an immune effect. So anyway, that's, uh, yeah. even if it just works in a small percentage, yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Manzanita people. <laughs>